Hello guys, so in this video we are going to set up Django application with Apache and more WSGI. Before heading up, I want to show you that we are going to install Django in virtual environment. I have created one video how to install Django. In this video I have shown how to install virtual environment Python pip 3 and how to install Django in virtual environment. I have also shown how to create the Django application and how to run it on server. So let's get started. For running the Django application on Apache, we need to install Apache 2 mod WSGI library which is used for communicating and interfacing with our Django application and Python pip3, a package manager for downloading the Python related tools. Before installing these libraries, we need to update our system. So go to the terminal and type this command sudo apt get update. This will update your system it will be asking for your password for first time as you have seen system has been updated now what we are going to do we are going to install these libraries so using this command we can install those libraries copy this command and paste it in terminal for pasting in terminal you can use Control shift v or mouse middle button and hit enter so this command will install apache to lib mod WSGI Py3 and Python pip3 in our system. Now we are going to configure the virtual environment. I have already installed virtual environment system so I am not going to use this command. We will be creating and configuring our Django project. So for that we will be creating a directory called Django project and changing that directory. So go to the terminal and type make directory command Django project and change the directory for changing directory cd django project this will change our directory now we will create a virtual environment in that for that we will be using virtual environment command and env as need and hit enter this will create a virtual environment files in our folder django project if you go to the home directory here one directory that we have created Django project and in that we have created the virtual environment files. Now we are going to activate that virtual environment. For activating the virtual environment you can use dot or source env bin activate and hit enter. If you see the prefix like this that means like your virtual environment is activated. Now we are going to install Django in that virtual environment. For that type pip3 install Django and hit enter. This will install the Django in our virtual environment. Now using the Django admin project we will be starting a project called my Django project. So type Django admin start project and project name my Django project and at the end we are going to use dot sign that means in this folder Django project if you see the directory this will create my Django project directory in our Django project directory now we are going to adjust the project settings file so for that open the Django settings file which is in my Django project directory and edit this file you can open with your own choice editor I will be using nano editor copy this command using nano editor and hit enter at the end of the file you have to paste this code static root paste it and for saving this file you will be using control x y and hit enter this will save the file. Now we'll complete the initial project setup. We'll migrate the project. So for that, now we are actually in the my Django project. So our manage.py management script is in direct. So we'll use the command python3 manage.py migrate and hit enter. This will migrate the data to database SQLite which is the default database in Django. 
you can migrate your data to MySQL as well as PostgreSQL database. Now we are going to create a super user. For that, we will be using Python 3 manage.py create super user and hit enter. It will ask for username. For now, I'm going to use admin. Then email address admin at example.com. You can keep your own choice. Again, password. Yes, if the password is not up to the validation. Now we have created the super user. Now we will be collecting the all the static content in one static folder. So using this command, python three manage.py collect static and hit enter. This will collect the static files in static folder. Now we'll run the Django server and see if any errors are there. For that, we will be using the command python3 manage.py run server and hit enter. As you can see, the server is running. If you go to the local host 8000 port, you will see the image like this. That says the installed worked successfully. Congratulations. If you append admin at the end of the URL like this admin, and hit enter you can log in using that super user admin and password this is by default given by Django okay now we'll stop the server and get further for deploying the Django application on Apache server first we will be stopping the server control C then deactivating the virtual environment using deactivate command and hit enter now we'll start the procedure of deploying the Django application on Apache server. For that we need to create a virtual host. Let's create a virtual host with Django project.conf file name. Copy this command and paste it in your terminal and hit enter. Now we will be pasting this code, the virtual host code. Note, in this code you have to change the user with your username for finding the username of your computer use the command who am i my computer username is huzaif as you can see in this code my username is huzaif so i have changed with my username also we are going to create a project url with this name django project dot localhost if you want to change the project URL you can change it from here suppose you want a URL with name django.localhost so you need to change this django.localhost this one django.localhost and this one okay so let's add the code in this file I'm directly pasting it the code and saving the file Control X, Y and hit enter. Okay, so we have added the code in virtual host file. Here I have explained if you are having different project directory names, so you can change it from here. Now what we'll do, we'll enable that virtual host file. So we'll change the directory. Then will enable the virtual host file which is named Django project site already enabled it will be saying enabling site Django project now we'll edit the host file this is optional but if you are doing this it's very good so open the host file with the nano editor and enter this code at the end of the file and control X Y hit enter this will save the file now we'll wrap up some permission issues so copy these commands and paste it in the terminal note we are having our project directory at home folder 
so you need to change the user name also change it with your username and now using this command we will check if everything is gone right and hit enter if it says syntax ok that means there is no error now we are back to our project setup go to the Django project directory cd Django project directory then activate the virtual environment then we need to edit the settings.py file which is in my Django project directory and here you will find one list called allowed host so as you remembered that we have kept our apache url as django project dot local host i have shown you that in virtual host file so we will be typing that url here which is the allowed host for our system save the file control x y hit enter After that, we'll run the server. Python 3 manage.py run server. As we are not getting any error, so we'll go to the URL Django project.localhost. As you can see, a Django project has not pointed yet. So for pointing, we need to restart our apache server for that control c sudo service apache to restart and hit enter run the server and as you can see our project dot local host is now running some tips for running the Django project on server suppose you have control C now it means like our the local host is stopped but when we are running the server on Apache it means like our server will be running forever if you type python3 manage.py run server it is still running right and if we close that server by control C and if you again say it there is no changes I have shared lots of tips here if you want to see errors like suppose we are using some commands print so when we are running that server on localhost 8000 port we can see the errors directly here but when we are running that server on apache we need to see the apache error log file for that open the new terminal and type tail minus f slash var slash log slash apache2 slash error log and hit enter here you can see those errors like if you are printing print x value okay that's it if you like my video please subscribe my channel and visit my website I will be sharing the link in description if you want to learn Python I recommend you to use my Python tutorial thanks for watching